The Lauranian coal mining is the story of a whole industry that contributed to modernize its coal mining techniques. It's also the epic of a district which 20 years ago made the entire mutation of its economy and wants to win today the challenge of industrial diversification. Among the French coal mining group Charbonnage de France, the colliery of the Lorrainian deposit is the most important. They work a 480 square kilometer deposit which spans to Sarre and descends to Lorraine. The first time we extracted coal was in Quitrocel in 1856. The technical problems while trying to get to the working veins slowed down the development of the mining companies of that time. In addition, their expansion was hindered by the several worlds that took place in that particular area. Only after the 1945 armistice and the 1946 nationalization, the colliery developed rapidly. It was the epoch of the coal struggle and the country faced enormous energetic needs. In 1959, the production reached 15 million tons with a personnel of 45,000 miners. The mining concession of the HBL is 40 kilometers long and approximately 30 kilometers wide. Today, the deposit is worked by four units, La Houve, Vouters, Remo, and Forbach. The deposit is characterized by a complex geological structure. The slope of the coal veins is called dip, and it varies from horizontal, the flat seams, to vertical, the steep seams. The thickness of the worked veins varies between 2.2 and 4.5 meters. The structure of the coal is very hard. Each mining area is equipped with high technology machinery. One of these machines is the sharer, which operates at 1,000 meters underground. Electronically controlled by two miners, it progresses along the coal mass. In the flat seams, the shields support the roof. In front of the self-advancing roof support, the coal is extracted in pieces about 80 centimeters large by a sharer on a 200 meter long wall face. Then the coal falls into the chain conveyor, which brings it to the shaft. The whole conveyor roof support system advances towards the face and the cycle starts again. In the steep seams, where the veins are almost vertical, another kind of engine is used. Each vein is cut into two work phases, approximately 300 meters long. This is done by a 11.5 cutting machine that has a sharing boom. This machine winds the coal. Every winded slice is 5 meters high. The coal falls onto a chain conveyor, which brings it to the hoisting tube, a metallic tube, which has a diameter of 2.2 meters. At the end of each slice, the engine must be taken back over the bridge and set on the opposite wing. Then the bridge is lifted and the hole is refilled with a mixture of sand and water. After the decantation, the engine begins a new mining slice. By drilling and blasting, the rock galleries are created. Finally, the drivage of the coal accesses are made with special adapted engines, such as 
super rock, or alpine. In this manner, more than 50 kilometers galleries are driven every year. This equipment, used in each work area, is being technically improved by using more powerful performing engines, using self-advancing roof supports with an opening of more than four meters, and by using computers to control the mining process. This technical evolution has improved the safety and the working conditions of the miners. Security is a constant preoccupation and the training is continuous. At the main rescue center, the rescue teams are ready to operate anytime. All of the improvements we have made have reduced the accident rate in each of the HPL departments. The industrial activity of HPL is not only limited to coal mining, however a great deal of the turnover is directly derived from coal mining activities such as producing electricity and coke making. Regarding electricity, the Emil Uship power plant at Carlang has four thermical groups with a total output of 1200 megawatts and is able to provide electricity for a city such as Paris. This power plant increases the value of the products that are not easy commercialized, for example, the fine coal, the methane, and the coking gas. Managed by Sodelif and operational since September 1990, the boiler of the fourth thermal group represents an example of the French engineering knowledge. This boiler uses a new burning technology called the fluidized bed boiler. This is the technology of tomorrow, clean and environment protecting. The HPL electricity output is mainly sold to the French electricity company, Electricité de France. HPL also provides electricity for the industrial installations of the mining area. The HPL produces coke as well. The corporation owns a coking plant at Carlang, where the production is over a million tons a year, mainly destined to the iron metallurgy. Six batteries, amounting to 206 ovens, are in operation. They use the stamping technology. Moreover, two rotary ovens, one at Carlang and the other at Forbach, are able to produce a highly reactive coke specially destined to the electrometallurgy. In a competitive market, the HPL evolves its traditional products into increased value products. Considering the request of the clients, specific qualities of coke are elaborated. It's the coke à la carte. We are referring to the small size and the big caliber foundry coke. Today, the coke production is closely related to the evolution of the European iron and steel industry. We have just spoken about the production units themselves, but they cannot effectively operate without an important infrastructure, gathering workshops, engineering offices, washing plants, sand quarries, private railways, drillings, and so on. With the help of thousands of miners, sometimes even working around the clock, we are able to produce more than two-thirds of the French coal output. HPL is the first French coal producer. Half of its output is sold as fuel and electricity to the French company Electricité de France. 
The coal also provides heating for many cities in the northeast part of France, including Paris. The Lorraine coal also supplies other clients such as city halls, hospitals, schools, universities, etc. Coal also provides energy for industries such as chemistry, paper making, textile industries, cheese making, sugar refining, car industries, and many others. Because of today's competition with imported coal, it being easier to mine and consequently cheaper, the price of coal is decreasing. Regarding this situation, the HBL made an ambitious industrial strategy to improve the productivity and reduce the costs, to adapt the output in order to satisfy the market request which guarantees the economic and social future of the coal field area. This strategy consists of a high concentration from the working places by selecting the deposit, by developing entirely mechanized methods perfected in the flat seams, and by investing in high-performing equipment such as the Electra 2000. Since May of 1991, in La Houve, the most powerful sharer in the world, the Electra 2000, with 1200 kilowatts power, has been operating. Supplied with 5000 volts and with its new high capacity conveyor, it can produce more coal in one hour than what a sharer from the 80s could do in one day. We also generalized the use of the self-advancing roof support for high thickness faces of more than 4 meters. In regards to the HPL staff, we strengthened the training process by focusing on a new type of human relations, which consists of simulating each individual to become quality achievers. Collectively, this makes the whole HPL department progress. This adaptation placed the HPL on the top of the European mining. The underground output per man shift during the past five years has improved almost 60% and has produced nearly seven tons, an historical record for the HPL. All these efforts allowed for a 25% cost reduction over a period of five years, investing less and at the same time improving the productivity, the HPL needs less manpower. Over 10 years, the labor was reduced by 10,000. We realized it without dismissals, and we made an important effort to help the people that left HPL. We helped them specifically according to the profile of their new careers and supported them financially. We will talk now about the techniques and the know-how that we use for our realizations outside of the French territory. Using perfected knowledge of the mining and industrial techniques, the HPL and the Coriel technicians from the CDF engineering department are a real presence on the national and international market. They realize plans and control the mining engineering and the civil engineering in France as well as other foreign countries. Among other technical skills of the CDF engineering, we can also count the specific work and check lifting. TSV is known as the master of the art department in moving and putting in plumb entire buildings, industrial installation, and art constructions. 
In the very special field of the mining techniques, UCAD, Unit of Conception, Assistance and Development, with its potential and ability, brings to value the knowledge developed by the CDF group. To ensure a social and economical future, the HBL has industrialized the mining area for more than 20 years. Together, the industrialization service of HBL, SOFIREM, the State Department, and all the local partners conjugated their efforts in doubling the number of jobs that HBL abolished. Because of the diversification of the existing enterprises and the implantation of new industries, 25,000 new employment opportunities were created in the East Moselle over the past 20 years. The decision of HBL to contribute to the development of the region is materialized in their participation in collective operations for the promotion of quality. An approach of partnership towards the suppliers and towards administrators is a direct implication in the evolution of the training center, CEFASIM. As the industrialization of Moselle East continues, HBL improves the renovation of its real estate, consisting of 20,000 apartment complexes. This is done by selling individual houses and using these funds to modernize the existing apartment buildings. Increasing the volume of their real estate, HBL contributes to make Moselle East a pleasant living area. In addition to this, HBL participates in the social and cultural aspect of the mining life by an enterprise committee, a music band, and a minor painting exhibit entitled Salon du Mineur. By its meaningful historical background, HBL has contributed greatly to the economical development of France. However, they now must face the important decision of their professional attitude. Mr. Jordan, the HBL general manager, will point out the main aspect of this attitude. Bien que confronté à la récession de la profession, Although confronted to a professional recession, HBL continues to develop its performance capacity and to improve its innovation to overcome this crucial moment of its existence. In order to maintain its leading position of the French mining technology and to ensure the future of its personnel, HBL continues the challenge to consolidate the East Mosul's industrial development. 